Now we can start adding in our actual uh, container that we're going to use. And basically we're going to have this operate inside of a panel, one panel, all right, but then we're going to make it used with, um, uh, what's it called? The, uh, uh, the uh, tab, nav tab, tab navigator <laughs> or something like that. All right, so to open this up, what I generally do is, you know, anything like the header I keep up at the top, all right? Anything down here, obviously action script. And then once I get through my action script, it's generally where I set up any kind of external content that's gonna get loading in. Obviously you can put this up top, all right? It's just whatever you're most familiar with. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with uh, our HTTP service, which is what allows us to uh, communicate with external data like databases, et cetera, XML, pretty much anything that uh, we're gonna be loading in that's gonna contain data, all right? And what we need to do is just open this up, HTTP service, all right? I'm gonna give this the ID name of database underscore request. And remember, any of the ID names that we're gonna put in here is what we're gonna end up referencing later on, all right? I'm gonna set up the URL, which is the file path to my PHP. And of course, it's gonna be the uh, PHP folder, data underscore submit dot php all right use proxy i'm going to set this to false all right i'll explain that in a second we're going to use the method of post all right since we're going to be posting content i'm going to go ahead and close that like that all right so the http service alone allows us to use the get and post methods all right setting the use proxy to false if we set it to true what that does is it allows us to do things like uh delete, um, trace, and uh, there's one other item I can't exactly recall. Um, I'll think about it over time, but it basically allows you to uh, get a little more interactive as far as the application type that you're using. All right, and um, what we need to do is we need to set up the method of collecting data that it can post into the actual database, all right? And how we can say that is by setting up the request, all right? Just gonna leave that blank. All right, I'm gonna close that off. All right, and down here, I'm just gonna make some room in here. What we can start setting up is stuff like this, all right? Then of course we need to uh, put what's gonna get collected in here, company entry.txt. Make sure I got that spelled right, yep. All right, then of course we just need to close the uh, company entry off. Just like that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. Come down here, just gonna paste it a bunch. Should be enough. All right, so we've got our company entry. Now the next thing that we need to set up basically is our website entry. All right, I'm just gonna go down these and set it up like that. And the next bit will be uh, name entry. This one will be for Nick, nickname entry. <clears throat> email uh, what else address one address two city state zip uh, details more details Notes, more notes. All right, I think that's it. Is that it? How many we got here? 64, 77. Yep, should be good. Actually, is that right? Yeah, that's definitely good. And then of course, what we need to do is we just need to uh, edit these tags in here. All right, so we can say, uh, Website, name, Nick, email, address one, address two, city, state, 
Zip. Details. We need to uh, set up this final bit here. Website entry. And just remember, all right, I know I'm kind of killing time here by watching you. I know I could probably put it on pause and have you do it, but not a big deal. Remember, what we're doing is we're setting this up to actually collect the data that's inside of each one of these uh, input boxes that we're going to create here shortly. All right. I just wanted to set this up, get all the variables set up. That, that way you get kind of familiar with the actual uh, ID names for every single uh, entry point. All right, so here, Nick, email, All right, what do we got here? All right, what I ended up doing was uh, I just rewrote my address to entry. I'm sure you got it right. It's just a spelling error on my part. Um, okay, and now if you save it, you should have a whole bunch of these errors set up in here, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set these up on how we're going to separate them a little bit. And what I mean by that is really, all right, on the first panel, this information is going to be good, but this is going to be on the left. This is going to be on the right. This is going to be on the uh, second step. All right. Okay. So again, just to kind of uh, go back over it again, by setting up the tags in here, we're stating what's going to get submitted into the uh, actual PHP and what we're telling it in here is that it's going to actually look for the text that's sitting inside of these ID names right here. All right. And we're going to put these ID names on the text inputs and the text areas. All right. All right. So once we have our uh, service set up, what we can do is, I guess, start setting up uh, everything else. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop down here. I'm going to make some room. All right. And we're going to go ahead and throw this inside of a, uh, we're going to throw the panel inside of an H box. Okay just to kind of give it a little more formatting. Horizontal align, gonna put this at center. And put this down from the top, about 50 pixels. All right, horizontal center. I'm gonna drop this to about 30, that way it centers it a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and close that. And then here, I'm gonna go ahead and insert our panel. All right, I'm just gonna set up the uh, details on this. Width at 100%, no. Not width at 100%. I'm going to put the width, width at 1,000. Height at uh, 650. Horizontal align. I'm going to put this at center. All right. Just put the layout as vertical. And go ahead and close that. All right. <clears throat> so... Inside of our panel, what I kind of want to do is put a little bit of text at the top just to kind of have something displaying in there. And what we can do here, I'm just going to drop a label in here. Label, put the width at 100%. I'm going to go ahead and put a different color in here. All right, I'm going to make that font white, font weight bold. All right, and for the text, uh, what else can I put in here?
Obviously, you don't have to put all this stuff in here. I'm just kind of setting it up for uh, later. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and close off that label just like that. All right, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and save it. All right, and of course, we can't publish anything to make sure it's uh, aligning right or anything like that just because we've got some errors down at the bottom. All right, but at this point, what we can do is we can actually start plugging in the uh, accordion areas.